As the sun began painting the sky with orange and pink, I thought of you again and looked at the run out hourglass you gave me. Why does time pass so fast? I thought as I turned it upside down again, revealing the inscription on the bottom. When you want to stop time, turn it sideways. Love rose, it said. Suddenly, a golden glow appeared in my hand as the sand began turning into a stardust. The more sand turned into gold, the lighter it felt until it hovered above my hand. Just before it got out of reach, I stood up with a little jump and grabbed it. As my feet went back and forth, I realized I was floating. Frightened, I let go and landed hard on the ground. Then I heard a light clink as the hourglass hit the ceiling. Then again, and again. Quickly, I got up and grabbed the chair. Please don't break, I thought as I tried to hold my balance on the wobbly chair and stretched as far as I could. Finally, I grabbed it, but there was already a crack in the glass. It kept on struggling until it broke free again and flew recklessly through the room. It was hard to track it between the rays of golden light. Then suddenly, it flew out of the window and disappeared out of sight. Stop! It's the only thing I've left of her, I said, but it was already gone. On bare feet, I ran after it into the forest. The hourglass slowly disappeared in the sundown light shining through the trees, only leaving the sound of clinking glass in the distance. As I followed the sound, the beach came into view. I felt a slight relief as my feet touched the soft warm sand. The hourglass continued its path, following the beach towards the cliffside. I didn't want to go there, but I followed anyway. I was running out of time. The glass was almost cracked beyond repair. As the hourglass hovered above the edge, I stopped. Rose? I said. To my surprise, it actually stopped. I reached for it, but it moved away. I tried a few more times, but it didn't want to be catched. Then the last rays of light disappeared along the horizon. The sky slowly fading into darkness. I tried to suppress my thoughts, but this place overwhelmed me. I felt my legs underneath me crumble. Afraid to follow your fate, I sat down, dangling my feet off the cliffside. We always sat here like this, talking for hours until the sun got down. We were happy in each other's company, but I could feel your pain lying beneath the surface. However, I never knew what to say or how to help you. It was an accident, they said, but that's not what happened. They try to soften their own pain by dismissing yours, the pain that you weren't allowed to feel, because you had no reason for it. I had been so lost in thoughts that I had forgotten about the hourglass. It was still patiently hovering beside me, radiating a soft golden glow. Again, I didn't know what to say. Rose, however, had all the time. I waited patiently until I found my words. I can't lose you again, I said. As it landed in my hands, I gently stroked the cracked glass. The sand then pushed itself to one side, towards the edge. I love you, I said, as I held the hourglass over the edge. Slowly, I loosened my grip and felt the hourglass fall down, as did the tears I couldn't hold in anymore. It felt like time had stopped until I heard the loud splash of broken glass in the distance. I was left alone in darkness until a golden glow appeared from below and the sand circled freely around me. As it made its way towards the night sky, all kind of memories of us floated through my head. Our sunset walks and movie nights, our endless talks and late night car drives. I will miss you, I said, as the sand slowly faded out of you until it reunited with the stars. <laughs>